on Care Kids News. Young Kiwi Dog Handler qualifies for the greatest dog show in the world. Mind blowing. <laughs> this is just amazing. And top of Hera is the superhero reader. He sees the superpower in everyone. One of the youngest superheroes I did, she was four. And the oldest superhero I did was 79. Whoa. My name is Marde Kutanepi, I'm reporting for Kia Kids News. In news today, for the first time in Blenheim, they are hosting the Black Hawks Dog Show. Let's go check it out. During the show, approximately 1,400 dogs of more than 120 different breeds will compete in disciplines showing breedings, agility and obedience. The Junior Dog Handler Competition is to find the best young dog handler in New Zealand. The winner gets a chance to travel to compete at Crufts in the UK. They've come from Portugal, the Samoyer. So the stakes are really high. Well, this is Button. She is a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. Well, I basically train every time I have an opportunity, but normally I do trainings like on Saturdays and Sundays, like I take up my weekends for the dogs. Um, I've been trained for two and a half years, but I've been trained in JDH and JDS for the last year. Can you tell me a little bit about your dog? My dog is a basset hound. Her kennel name is Bay Park Dragonheart, but we call her Queenie. She's such a madam. I'm joined here with Scrumpy, and he is six years old, and he's a Bernese mountain dog. The Black Hawk Dog Show is the biggest dog show in Aotearoa. Everybody makes sure they look their best, particularly the dogs. There's constant brushing, blow drying and some cool and crazy hairstyles. It's a nerve wracking time for the owners, but the dogs look pretty relaxed. Some look like they're not sure what all the fuss is about. <laughs> The trials are over and the judges have made their decision. Who will be representing New Zealand at the greatest dog show in the world? The winner of 2019 is... Number five, I've just won the junior handling competition, which means I'm the top handler in New Zealand at current and I'm going to Crufts in England to represent my country. The last five years I've been working towards winning it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I have. Mind blowing. <laughs> this is just amazing. That is all for the 2019 Black Hawk National Dog Show. I am Marta Kinebia from Fair Kids News. Kia ora, I'm Hava Heta, reporting for Kia Kids News. We all know what superhero powers we would like to have, right? The power of invisibility, the power to fly, or the power to have total control over my brothers and sisters. Mwahahaha! Today, we meet the man who can reveal your superpower right down to your outfit, which makes him the only superhero reader. Kia ora Tapa here. How did you become a superhero reader? I actually started off, I was a teacher, and then I was asked to create something to help students in some sort of empowerment room. So I decided to create something based on superheroes. What would happen if I turned people into superheroes and how would it help them? How do you decide what someone's superpowers are? So when I create a superhero, I base it on how they come across to me. It's not what they think of themselves, it's how someone else sees them as a superhero. One of the youngest superheroes I did, she was four, and the oldest superhero I did was 79. Whoa. Can 79-year-olds even have superpowers? <laughs> oh, not only can they have superpowers, they've probably got more powers because they're that old. His other superpower is that he was the inspiration for the superheroes in Wahine Toa, or Brave Woman. So tell me about this book. Well, this book is a creation 
based on actual women around New Zealand. And these are prominent Māori women. So this one here, she has the ability to grant wishes. And this one, she is super, super strong. You can lift anything. And this lady has iron skin. Iron skin? Mm -hmm. She's almost indestructible. Yeah. I've got a picture that I've drawn of myself. What would you add to it? Your superhero name is Maleficent. You look a little bit like Maleficent as a superhero. You don't have the horns, but you have sort of like a tiara sort of thingy, but it's like a black crystal crown, and it's like a little bit of a tiara. You actually sit on a throne. You have crystals on either side of the throne, and you use this to create things. You started off as a fairy, and then something tragic happened, and it made you go dark for a little bit. What's happening now is your superhero has started to come away from the darkness and has started to embrace her magical powers. You can do anything and go anywhere in the world. Nothing will stop you if you decide to go. Do I have a sidekick? No, because a sidekick means I'll need help. She don't need help. Oh! I'm pretty happy with my superhero powers. Thanks, superhero reader. You're the best. <laughs> This is Harper, a.k.a. Maleficent, signing off for Kia Kids News. Thanks to New Zealand On Air.